NBC News used to be the envy of the TV news world, and maybe one day it will be again. But right now, it's a punching bag and a punchline. NBC, in this case, stands for not being canceled. The news division is famous for Huntley and Brinkley, for Katie and Bryant, for Tim and Tom. But its problems were piling up even before last week when Brian Williams recanted his tale about being in a chopper forced down by RPG fire in Iraq. NBC's cash cow, The Today Show, is stuck in second place, still suffering from the 2012 decision to force Ann Curry out. The network just finished an exit deal for her. What's happened to their two marquee shows, which is The Today Show and NBC Nightly News, is really rather stunning. No one would have uh, predicted uh, years ago that, that The Today Show would get overtaken uh, and that NBC Nightly News would have this sort of scandal where the face of the entire network is now all of a sudden tumbling um, before our very eyes. It also ousted David Gregory from Meet the Press last fall, and he was forced to announce the news of his departure via Twitter. On air, NBC is, is trying Dr. to rehab Dr. Nancy Snyderman, who violated an Ebola quarantine after returning from West Africa, torching her credibility. Good people can make mistakes. And the network is regretting a series of reporting mistakes, most recently saying Bo Bergdahl was about to be charged with desertion, something that still hasn't happened. NBC's parent company Comcast hates all this drama, partly because it hurts the bottom line, meaning hundreds of millions in ad revenue, but also because it's got bigger business going on, a pending merger with Time Warner Cable. This is a colossal embarrassment for Comcast. There's no question about it. I mean, Comcast is trying to pull off a merger in D.C., and mergers are, you know, to a significant degree, a PR effort to, you know, help the, the, the image of the company and to show uh, the, that the company is, you know, dedicated to consumers and a good product and good management. And having Brian Williams out there saying blah, 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 that doesn't help one bit, especially given that this story is enormous inside the Beltway, and that's just precisely where uh, Comcast needs uh, a healthy and receptive environment for their, for their, for their merger. At this point, NBC wants to stop being the news and just get back to telling it.